How's it going gamers, it's RebelX here in the War Room and today we're looking at Evolve. Gameplay tips and tricks for Lazarus. Now Lazarus is the second tier medic you unlock after you've completed enough tasks playing as Val. Lazarus is one of my favorite medics in this game. He's also a bit of a tricky medic to use, but we're going to go over his abilities and how to best utilize him on the battlefield. So let's get into that right here, right now. Alright gamers, when you first start off as Lazarus at the beginning of the battle, immediately go into your cloak mode. Now, cloak mode should be used sparingly. Don't use it like crazy, but definitely use it at the beginning of the game. That way, Lazarus doesn't get attacked at the very start of the game by any crazy creatures. Uh, the next thing, too, is that once you spot the monster, Lazarus' uh, main weapon is, of course, his silent automatic rifle. The thing is about this gun is that this gun will basically depict whether your team wins or lose. Yes, just this gun, because the amount of weak points you can create on the monster is insane. Always aim for the chest of the monster or the back of the monster. Don't worry about getting headshots or shooting for any weak spots anywhere. Anywhere you hit the monster will deal the same amount of damage, double, triple damage that your teammates do to it no matter what you do. Second thing too is that make sure your teammates know that the only way to get those extra points is if they're hitting it with bullets or lasers. Rocket launchers or flamethrowers do not uh, count as towards those uh, extra damage points, weak spot points. So remember, make sure your teammates are hitting those weak spot points with bullets or lasers. Make, and that's the only way you're going to be able to do some enough heavy enough damage to the monster. The other thing too is that make sure that when your teammates are weak, communicate with them. Have them bunch up together with you and have you use your burst of healing ability. Lathers' burst of healing ability is a lot stronger than Val's, but the only way for it to work is for your teammates to stick by and get close enough to you. So always make sure you're communicating with your teammates. Lazarus is the kind of character you have to keep talking to your teammates. So if you haven't been using your mic, you got to start using it when you play as Lazarus. Now when it comes to reviving your teammates, First and foremost is the basics. Whenever a teammate gets incapacitated and the monster's nearby, this is where you've been saving your cloak ability for. So don't use your cloak ability on yourself when the monster is engaged. You save it for when a teammate gets down, go cloak to go in and revive them. The next thing too is that when a teammate gets incapacitated, not dead, incapacitated, instead of running over and holding down the, uh, the button just to regularly bring them back up to life, immediately uses Lather's Gauntlet. When you bring a player uh, out of capacity back to life with the Gauntlet, they don't get a strike against their health. So whenever a teammate is incapacitated, use the gauntlet to get them to rise them back up and they won't get any type of uh, penalty for towards their health like they normally would if they were be to be brought back up with the regular, you know, get up ability. So always make sure you use the gauntlet not only to revive dead teammates, but to also help get uh, allies up when they're incapacitated. Do not have anyone else do it. Lazarus can save them from getting a penalty on their health. The next thing too is that when you play as Lazarus, make sure you get to high altitude. Lazarus should never be on the ground. He should always be on a ledge somewhere at a high velocity uh, area. That way he can both assist his teammates from a distance by shooting the monster and also keeping an eye out for who gets weakened and who gets downed. Also too is that his burst ability for health has a long range. So if you, if you swoop over and fly over someone who's getting attacked by the monster and activate your ability, they will get that health ability. Utilize these tactics and you will be one very, very loved Lazarus player amongst your teammates, keeping them alive and keeping them in the fight. Alright gamers, all the time we have for today here in the War Room. Feel free to check out more of our vids on Evolve and we'll see you guys next time.